to kick this haircut off, I'll go in with my gold comb and I'm just combing everything with the grain and I'm lifting the pattern as much as possible as you guys can see. I got a heavy do-rag line. My lineup is in this strong and as you can tell by just me combing this hair, it's going to be very dense in areas that it won't be uh, dense at in other areas. So this is a transformation. This is a two-month wolf. Let's go ahead and hop into it. Y'all know how they say you know every story gonna have its own ending and in this case we finna wild out so i go in with a number two with the guard completely closed and i'm going with the grain they don't even make these metal guards like that no more i found this on the uh beauty supply store somewhere on the corner in chicago man and we just know that this is a special guard for her hair because if i put a regular two on it's too high um and it does not cut the hair or get the hair to lay down and cooperate with me but this two right here, this metal guard, works perfect. It's a universal guard. It's a guard I pull out every once in a blue moon. This is not a guard that's just on my station and I'm using it nonstop. I use this for her and her only. Or maybe if I get another waiver who um, got this real tricky hair and it's dense in certain areas and it's not, you know, as dense. So as you guys can see, like where her curves will be at, uh, her lineup, you can tell it's nowhere near as dense as majority of her head and you guys gotta be able to see that you guys gotta be able to detect that as a barber you guys gotta start using you know just regular instinct if the hair isn't as dense and you cutting the hair down with a one and a half it does not make sense to cut the not dense hair with a one and a half so just take your time so i go in, in the back with my gold fx trimmers and i knock out my first ball line and i repeat the same steps on the left and the right side of the head in a circular motion just so i can blow out my panels and create my first rough draft of really breaking into my transition i go completely halfway right here and i'm just basically feathering out this area and as you guys can see, instead of going completely closed and going halfway, the hair isn't that dense at the back of the taper area. So with that being said, I could just go in halfway and I could just really flick and then go completely open and flick. And as you guys can see, I'm already getting my transition. You really don't have to overwork hair like this. They got real light hair in the back. Just don't go too high in the taper. And I promise you, you will be protected and you know your taper will come out amazing. You just don't change your steps. You just drop your guy guidelines lower due to dense hair and not as dense hair you have to drop your guidelines lower because if you don't you will destroy the taper or you have to push the taper like super high than usual so just take your time and i promise you everything you know everything will adjust and everything will fall into place that's the whole point of learning a theory and you know the beginning learning your theory in the beginning is only letting you know you know what steps you're gonna always take during every haircut applying the theory goes to show your comprehension of everything that you learned over all of the years that's the objective so as you guys can see back is knocked out already i go in completely open on my side and i'm just basically creating that second panel just so i can give myself room to fade i dropped them halfway right here and i'm starting to fade in this area and as you guys can see I basically got this panel blended out. So it's like her hair is dense in areas and in other areas it cooperate well. So I go in completely halfway closed with my one eighth guard and I'm only going in with a one eighth guard because I want to protect myself. I don't want to knock too much hair off the head because if you knock too much hair off of the head, you can't get that hair back. You guys got to play and play fair and play even. Like you got to understand whatever step that you do or any step that you apply to this haircut, it needs to be setting you up for the next step opposed to making more work for you throughout your haircut. So I go in with my 116th and that's completely halfway closed. After I did my 18th and as you guys can see, it just feathers into itself. Like it, everything is feathering into itself. And I just repeat the same steps right here. I go completely open with my 116th because I honestly, when I faded it with the 18th, I knew for a fact that a 116th completely open with the grain because I cut chain the hair before that I'll be able to debulk that side as well. So I kind of just wanted to show you guys two different ways of fading this super undense hair because it's not going to be easy to get this woman um, super crispy. But if you a surgeon and what you do, you know it's possible anything is possible that's one thing that i respect about her when she first came to me she told me the problems that she was having with the barbers before and things of that nature and you know we just solve problems that's the difference you know we just solve problems that's the that's it 
I'm willing to comprehend every problem and you know you know understand every problem that my client has with her hair and I'm able to offer a solution you know and, and, and at that not just offer any solution that would be anything but I'm offering her a solution that so she can walk out like all of my clients with the super dense hair or the super crazy uh, clean look because everybody ain't got the best hair but you got to understand this woman definitely take care of her hair. It's just not as dense in other areas. So I don't want y'all thinking that she's losing her hair or anything. It's just not as dense in the lineup area as it is, you know, around the head area. But we're going to shake her back. We're going to put her in the game, you know, crazy. She had a, a adult prom that she was going to today. So y'all know what time it is. Like, when it's bag season, it's bag season. So I'll go in completely closed with my masters, and I'm just floating over the waves. I'm getting everything in order. I need everything laid. I'm literally setting myself up for murder. Like, this premeditated right here. Every step is vital to my process. Once it's done, I will unlock another level or I'm going up another level on my haircut. And that's really have always been my objective, to push myself beyond, you know, limits. Push, push past everything. That's the objective. So I go with my gold FXs in the back of the ear and I'm basically doing my vertical bars to my neckline and then I'm shifting to the corner of my blade and I'm using that to create my roundabout around the ear. Keeping everything super consistent, not scratching, not digging into her head. And I'm just tapping and I'm letting everything naturally come because these blades are sharp. So just remember, you don't want to overdo it. You don't want to nick a client. And they just used to be the worst feeling to me. That's why I really, really, really go in about my tremors. Like I used to nick people a lot. You got to sometimes just learn balance and weight of how to hold the clip. So, uh, you know, it's checks and balances with everything. So I just play in the middle and I literally work all the way to the left and I'm creating every piece of this lineup. I don't want to go outside of my boundary at all. So it's just easy. If you keep the clipper in that same position and you just go left to right. Some people will have curves in their forehead or pimples or bumps or things of that nature that you might have to go around with. But in this case, my client lineup is fuller, so you, this should be a little bit more fair to everybody out there. I've been actually giving you guys easier lineups, and hopefully I can get some crazy ones because I want to show you guys, you know, I love showing you guys the, the, the messed up ones and having to create the line, so I'm looking for them as well. But for the time being, I'm giving you guys easier liners, and this should just be easy practice to get right until I'm able to find something else crazy. So as you guys see, I turn the head slightly just to line it up to make sure I know where I'm going because this side right here holds not half as much as hair as the other side. Like I'm already seeing it in the vertical bar before I attack the curve. Like I, I, I already see what's standing in my way before you know before i get there and that's the objective about being a barber you got to be able to identify problems and not only identify problems brainstorm throughout the process while cutting hair what will you do or before that even through consulting and just with troubleshooting any haircut you got to be able to know what you're doing so as you guys can see i turn the head i use the bottom of my brush and i drag it all the way to the left so i could be able to put my reference point down because when i'm dealing with a client like this she's into her precision she's into her taper her fade how her waves is laid she's into it all she gonna call you on a bs it's not the normal client all of my waiver clients don't play so i go in with my boy sean cuts hair color enhancement card and i'm using my product the beam team core compressor XL and my second product no drip which is our waterproof color enhancement very natural for the liner and built for the skin so it can last the three to five days as you guys can see I'm using this just to filler it in because the front of the liner wasn't as light the vertical bar and the curve isn't as pronounced because the hair isn't as dense but I want to go in and I want to use things that uh, that we incorporate in our industry just to make our product stronger I go in with a barber magic pencil as well to basically conceal the lineup and when concealing the lineup it's the same thing that women do with their eyebrows they filler their eyebrows in and then they conceal them i'm just moving what i see in another industry in my industry and it's also complimenting and helping me because not only are my pictures are fire but the clients are even walking out with more confidence like the lineup look unreal at times and that's my objective i want to give my clients something they never seen so in my realm of me being a barber 
I like to blow the vivid imagination out the water. Like if you gonna sit in my chair, I'm definitely finna bless you different. That's the that's that's the objective. Like when you sit in my chair, you sit in beam chair, you know I'm focused, you know I'm locked. You hope you 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 you're lucky you get a conversation out me because I'm turned. Like when I'm working, I ain't talking too much. When I'm creating these shapes, I ain't talking too much. Cause I'm just solely focused and just being in my bag Y'all know what time it is Hashtag TBT is the Bean Team Lock in, focus up We like, we got this thing coming together Lining is so straight that it can bend a ruler We adding the precision We got the more in-depth, full, cleaner, natural look On my girl lineup As you guys can see, like The lineup wasn't nowhere near as dense The vertical bars was nowhere near as pronounced The curve wasn't even as big as pronounced the, 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 what I just added to this haircut, this extra five minutes, is the reason that I'm able to charge a premium of $45 to $50 no matter what is going on. $30 at the least when they get in lineups just to sit in my chair. And I know for a fact I'm going to definitely have somebody in the comment hating hey, no, all. Well, I, you know, I pay 20 and get the same thing or better or less than 20 and get. Well, what that tell you about your barber then? That mean your barber clearly don't know they worth. It's bag season. So y'all know what we focused on, man. We angling the rays at a 45 degree angle. We stretching the skin. We bringing everything back to the lineup. It's bag season. Glacier gang. I just took a little bit of nothing and turned it into something. Like that's that's what's golden. That's my process. That's 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 what, what happened when you sit in my chair. Like the inevitable happens, like the impossible things become possible. I will show you a different level, you know, of an ending result of your haircut. I will show a transformation. I will show a level of precision that's never been seen before. I will be solely in my bag. The 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 the, the complete experience of being in beam chair is completely different. And in unfortunate situations, we do get clients like this. The hair isn't a hundred percent perfect, but our hair is laid. It is taken care of. It's just it's not is dense in the front of the lineup and as you guys seen on the curve area and in the taper and in the imperfect world y'all know what time it is we hop in our bag like this so it's hashtag tbt it's the beam team y'all know what time it is lock in focus up strap in it's <laughs> let's